Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send template email using Postmark custom API. So here my objective is that in my Google Sheet, I'm going to add the details of my customer like the email address or the name of my customer. So whenever I add these details, then automatically I want to send a template email to that particular customer by using Postmark custom API. So for my objective, I have to build a connection between Google Sheets and Postmark. So for creating this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I'm going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. In Action application, I'm going to use Postmark. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can send emails to our customer with customized template by using Postmark. So for that, we have to use custom API and by using API method, we are going to send template email to our customers. So here on Postmark, let me show you my template. For that, I have to open my server and in this, I will go to templates and here I have created this template of welcome to lead and I'm going to show you this template. So this is the HTML body of my template that I have created and I'm going to show you the text body. So this will be the text body and my email will be like, hi, the name of my customer and in the end, it will say, we are thrilled you have decided to join us on this journey with regards Pablicon. So I'm going to show you how this email will look. So I'm going to click here on this preview button. And this is how my template email will look. Hi, and the name of my customer. And we are thrilled you have decided to join us on this journey. And here I have created this key for parameter. So I am going to change my parameter for different customer. And for using custom API, I need API docs for postmark. So this is the API docs of postmark and we are going to use this. So for sending the emails, I'm going to build a connection between my Google sheet and postmark. So here in my spreadsheet, I have these two columns of email ID and the name of my customer. So whenever a new row will be filled with the customer details, then automatically a template email will be sent to that customer by postmark. So for that, I have to build a connection between Google sheet and postmark. And for that, I'm going to open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just click on sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send template email using Postmark custom API. And I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principle on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here I'm going to use Google Sheet. So Google Sheet will be my trigger application. So I'm going to select Google Sheets here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new or updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. And for connecting these two accounts, I have to follow all this instruction. So first I have to copy this webhook URL. So I'm going to click here on this copy button. Now we'll go back to Google Sheet. And in this, I have to go to extensions. And for connecting Google Sheet with Pabli Connect, I have to add an extension. So I'm going to open this get add-ons. And this will take us to this Google Workspace Marketplace. In this, I'm going to search for my extension, which is Pabli Connect webhook and you will get to see this extension. So we have to install this extension and I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. I will go back to extensions and here I have this extension, which is Pabli Connect Webhooks. So in this, I'm going to open initial setup. Here we have two options, Webhook URL and trigger column. So first I'm going to paste that Webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I need a trigger column. 
So the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to Webhook URL. So in my spreadsheet, I have these two columns, column A and column B. And column B is my last data entry column. So column B is going to be my trigger column. So I'm going to type column B here and I'm going to click on send test and test data sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit and my setup is configured successfully. Now I'm going to close this. Here what I want is that whenever I add a new row in my spreadsheet and whenever I add new details of the customer in my row, then automatically I want to use these details and I want Google Sheet to send that data to Pabli Connect so that I can send a template email to those customer. So for that, I have to go back to extensions and I will go to Pabli Connect Webhook and in this, I'm going to enable this option of send on event. So what this is going to do is that whenever I will add a new row in my Google Sheet, then automatically that data will be sent to Pabli Connect. Now we'll go back to Public Connect and here we can see we have received this response. So our trigger column is column B. My spreadsheet name is postmark emails and the name of my customer is demo user and the email ID is demo at the rate pablitudes.com. So we have these details. Now what I need to do is I need to send a template emails to my customer by using postmark. So for that, I have to set up my action step. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I'm going to use postmark. So postmark will be my action application. So I'm going to select postmark here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and custom API request will be my action event. So here I'm going to use custom API to send emails. So I'm going to select this and I have to connect postmark with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. Now I will click on add new connection and to connect postmark, I have to give a key and value. So where I'm going to get these details, first I have to go to my API docs of postmark. So I'll go to that and I will go to overview and here I need the server token. So here in the server token, inside this box, I have this key. So I'm going to use this key. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and in the key value, I'm going to paste that key. Now I need the value. So for value, I have to go back to postmark and here I have to go to API tokens. And in this, I have this server API token. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and in the value section, I'm going to paste that token. So this will be the key and I got this from the API docs and this will be my value. So I have used server token from my postmark account. So now I'm going to click on save and I have connected postmark. Now here I have to use the API method to send a template email to my customer. So first I have to select my request method. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my API doc and here I have to send email with template. So I'm going to try this method and here I have this curl request. So I'm going to use curl request here. So I'm going to copy this curl request. I will go back to public connect and here I am going to click here on this three dot button and here I have this option of import curl. So I'm going to click here. And in this dialog box, I'm going to paste my curl request. So this is my curl request and I'm going to click on import curl. So I have imported my curl here and it has filled all the details that I required. So here I have my headers and the parameters and the parameters that I want to use to send a template email. So my request method is post. This is my API endpoint and now I have my headers. So here I have this note which says you do not need to add any authorization headers. Authorization headers will be automatically added to the request. So I don't have to fill any headers here. Now I have the parameters. So here I have these parameters of from to template ID and the username. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all these parameters and I'm going to fill the data where I have my JSON. So here in the from tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this value. And in the field of value, I'm going to give the from email from which I have to send the email to my customer. So for that, I'm going to type my email address here. And this is also going to be the email address that is verified in postmark. And I'm going to use this email to send emails to all my customer. So this is my from email. Now I need that to email. And in this value, I'm going to clear this. And in the value tab, I have to fill the email addresses on which I have to send the emails. So I have these email addresses in my Google Sheets. I have received the response of my Google Sheet and I'm going to map that email address here. So I'm going to use mapping and what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tab and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google Sheets and this is my email ID. So I'm going to map this. So this is going to be my to email. 
So, so this is going to be the email address of my customer to whom I have to send the email. Now I need a template ID. So I'm going to clear this value and for my template ID, I have to go back to postmark and here I have to go to templates and this is my template. So I'm going to open this welcome to leads and this is my template. So here I have this template ID. So I'm going to copy this and I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste my template ID here. Now I have this label of username and in the value, I have the name of my customer. So this is going to be the example. So I'm going to leave this as it is. And I have this data where I have my JSON. So here I have my parameters. So in the from section, it is going to take this email address. And for the two email, it is going to take the email addresses that I'm getting from my Google sheet where I'm adding the details of my customer and the template ID. I have mapped this here in the value. So this is going to be my template ID. And in the template model, what I have to do is inside this bracket, I have to add the parameters that I have in my template. So let me take you back to postmark and this is my template. So I'm going to click on text and this is my template. And in this, I have this parameter of name and my parameter key is of name. So I'm going to use this. So I will go back to public connect and in this template model, I'm going to clear this and I'm going to use my key as name. I only have one parameter in my template, but what if I have more than one parameters, then I had to add all the parameters that I have in my template. So in the template model, I have to fill the parameters and how I'm going to add those parameters. for that. I have to simply give a comma here. I can use a new line and in the new line, I have to use double quotes and in this double quote, I have to put the name of my parameter. So suppose I have a other parameter of email. So I will just simply type email here. I will close my double quote. I will give a colon and I will type the value that I want to use. I don't have this parameter. This is only for the example. So I'm going to clear this and I'm going to make it as it is. Now I have this key of name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this brackets and in this double quote, I'm going to map the name of my customer. So I have the name in my Google sheet. So I'm going to click here. And this is the name of my customer. So I'm going to map this. So in the data field, I have mapped my name of my customer, which I have as a key of parameter in my email. So this is going to change every time I will have a new customer detail in my Google sheet and it is going to reflect on my email too. So I have filled all my parameters and all the required details that I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on this save and center to click button. And here we have this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent a template to this particular customer on this email address. Now to check this, I'm going to open this email account and here we can see I have received this new email. So I'm going to open this and here on this email, I can see I have received this email from this particular user, which is named as Ashirai and this is the email address. So this is the from email that I'm receiving this from and I have this two email, which is demo at the rate publicutes.com. So this was my template and I have used this template to send as an email to my customer by using postmark. And in this template, I have this hi demo user. So this is the name of my customer and we are thrilled you have decided to join us on this journey. And in this template, we have this with regards family tutes. So I have used this template and I have sent this template email by using custom API in postmark. Now let's go back to public connect. And here, this is how I have set up my custom API request for sending the template emails to my customer. Now, whenever I will add a new row in my Google sheet with customer details, then automatically a template email will be sent to that customer by using postmark. Now let's summarize what we did here. So here we have built this connection between Google sheet and postmark in such a way that whenever we will add a new row in my Google sheet with the customer details, then automatically a template email will be sent to that customer by using postmark. So here I have set up my trigger first and here my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was postmark and my action event was custom API request. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.